हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द डीसी मोटर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स डीसी मोटर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक विल प्लॉट विथ डिसीशंट मोटर डीसी सीरीज मोटर एंड डीसी कंपाउंड मोटर तो फर्स्ट वी विल सी डिसीशंट मोटर हेयर द वोल्टेज सप्लाई टू फील्ड वाइंडिंग इज कॉन्स्टेंट सो दैट द कॉन्स्टेंट फ्लक्स विल बी देयर सो वी कैन यूज द स्पीड इक्वेशन दैट इज इक्वल टू वी टी माइनस आई ए आर ए अपॉन फाइव so from this equations we can assume that flux is constant because of supply voltage is across the field winding is constant so from this relation we can get n is proportional to vt minus ia r a so as we have seen that load current is increases the speed will be decreases so first plot will be the speed versus armature current so that part characteristic we can plot here very easily by using this equation so when ia is equal to 0 speed will equals equal to vt so we can plot here in x axis and y axis in x axis we are plotting here speed y axis in plotting speed and x axis label as a armature current so at starting when armature current is zero speed is maximum as we increase the armature current speed is drop so this is the characteristic we will get and this is the ideal speed so this drop is due to ia ra drop and this characteristic is as a drooping characteristics now we will see the next characteristic of efficient motor that is the torque versus armature current so we know that torque is proportional to phi ia in efficient motor phi is constant so we can assume that t is proportional to ia so we will get a straight line t in a y level and ia in a x level so we will get a straight line but after some times due to some armature reaction the torque is reduced so that is like a little bit of bend so this is the characteristic of the torque versus armature current in dc shunt motor now we will see the third characteristic of dc shunt motor is speed versus torque so speed versus torque characteristic again we are using the speed equation n is proportional to vt minus ia r a and from torque equation we can find out torque is proportional to ia so we can make a relationship between speed and torque as like as n is equal to vt minus t r a so we can plot here characteristic of speed versus torque n is in y axis and t in x axis so when torque is zero speed is maximum when torque is zero speed is maximum and after that whenever torque is increase speed is decrease and that is also a drooping characteristic so this is all about the characteristic of dc shunt motor now we will see the dc series motor characteristics so first we will see the speed versus current characteristic of dc series motor so from speed equation n is proportional to vt minus ia r a upon 5 and in dc series motor ia is proportional to phi so for low armature current the value of ia r a is neglected so we can assume has n is proportional to 1 upon ia that is a inverse characteristic so we can plot here the characteristic of speed speed in y axis and ia in x axis so we will get a characteristic is inversely so this is the characteristic we will get in a speed versus armature current of dc series motor now we will plot a characteristic between torque versus armature current so as we know that torque is proportional to phi ia 
and in series motor i a is proportional to phi so we can get a relationship t is proportional to i a square so that is a parabola equation so we will get here torque in a y axis and i a in a x axis so we will get a parabola characteristic so this is all about the torque versus armature current now we will plot a speed versus torque in series motor so again we are using the speed equation n is proportional to vt minus iara upon phi and also we know t is proportional to ia square so from that equation we can find out ia will as put here ia is equal to root t constant and we will put here in terms of in place of flux and ia so we will get our relationship n is equal to constant vt minus ia i is root t root t r a divided by root t the constant is k is k1 this is k2 so we will get a relationship when low torque the root t r a is neglected so we will get a proportional is n is inversely proportional to t so that is a rectangular hyperbola equation so we will get a characteristic of speed versus torque is speed and torque is like this so this is the characteristic of the speed versus torque in dc series motor now we will see the dc compound motor characteristics dc compound motor characteristics is a is a characteristic of series and shunt motor so we can easily find out that plots compound motor is a characteristic which is similar to dc series motor and dc shunt motor so first we will see speed versus current in dc shunt motor speed versus current characteristic is like this and in case of uh, series motor we can get the characteristic is like this so the compound motor characteristic is the features of the series and shunt motor so we will get a uh, both features this is called compound motor similarly we will get a uh, armature current and torque plot of both series and shunt this is ia this is n in case of <coughs> torque and armature current we will get straight characteristics linear characteristic of dc shunt motor and the parabola characteristic for dc series so we will get a middle characteristic and that characteristic will be compound motor similarly we will get a speed versus torque characteristic this is speed torque so that characteristic of dc shunt motor is drooping characteristic and series motor is like this so we will get a middle of characteristic that is will be the compound motor so this is all about we have discussed about the dc motor characteristics thank you